IGF-1 and BDNF are two incredible proteins. They have been found to play a crucial role in promoting myelin formation and supporting the growth of oligodendrocytes. By harnessing the power of these proteins, we can create a strong foundation for recovering our lost myelin. The process of myelin formation is extraordinarily complex and involves multiple interactions between molecules and cells. Facing this daunting complexity, I had to make a choice. Give up and face a life of MS progression or start where I was, my symptoms and all my disability with it? Was it hopeless? No, not at all. It's called faith. I figured I was the perfect guinea pig. MS was so life draining to me, I had nothing to lose. I dedicated myself to doing the work that I uncovered. I was only sometimes motivated, but I kept going. These two miraculous proteins partnered with my dedication and drove my myelin recovery. Hey, it's Dave. Through resistance training, everyone, especially those over 60 or women, can boost their IGF-1 levels and unlock their body's full potential for remyelination. IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1, is a protein that plays a crucial role in the growth and development of cells in the human body. But most essential for us are that these cells in the central nervous system are affected. The liver and many other tissues produce it in response to stimulation by human growth hormone. Growth hormone secretion increases with resistance training. So consistent resistance training over time can lead to long-term adaptations and can increase growth hormone consistently. Unfortunately, it takes time. It means that over time, the body becomes more efficient at releasing growth hormone in response to resistance training. So it takes time, but it results in increased release of IGF-1. Meanwhile, the harder you push yourself during resistance training, the greater the release of BDNF. BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, is a protein that can be considered the miracle growth of the brain. BDNF helps the brain to develop new connections, repair failing neurons, and protect healthy ones. Before you point out in MS, our problem is not neurons, but myelin, I'll stop you right there. Healthy neurons are essential for remyelination. As you push yourself to lift heavier and heavier weights, a surge of electrically charged activity courses through your brain 
in guiding those connections between neurons and facilitating the complex movements required to perform the exercises. This neuronal dance plays a crucial role in promoting myelin formation. When neurons are electrically active and release specific signaling from molecules, it triggers a cascade of events that promotes myelin synthesis. When I discovered these proteins, just a little while ago, it explains so much about my recovery. Before I began my weightlifting journey, my life was destroyed by MS. I was scared for so many years about what my future would be, what would progression do to me. How, how, what would I look like in 20, 30 years with this scary disease? MS had already profound, profoundly impacted my physical abilities, leaving me fatigued in constant pain and losing motor function left and right. Despite my fear, I relentlessly searched for possible ways to promote remyelination, repairing damaged myelin. Time after time, I came across studies suggesting that weightlifting could stimulate remyelination and be the answer for me. With dedication, I combined my newfound love for weightlifting with the desire to heal and regain my lost abilities. I'll admit, in the early years, I could have been better. My drive ebbed and flowed and sometimes I would take weeks, months off. But through all those years, I found my way out. My biggest change happened in 2013 when I began a weightlifting routine called wave loading. Wave loading is a weightlifting progression technique that manipulates the number of repetitions and weights lifted within a given set. I uh, have a full playlist up here. I'll put it up about wave, about wave loading. This progressive overload method aims to challenge the muscles and stimulate growth. Not because I want bigger muscles, I want a bigger, stronger brain. The wave loading routine typically involves alternating between heavy and light loads in a structured manner. One of the most significant benefits of wave loading was that it targeted the release of the proteins IGF-1 and BDNF because they, they were essential for promoting remyelination. So, remembering back through my years, I remember when I could only lift, when I could bench press 20 pounds per arm. As I continued my progression over time, I noticed subtle changes in my MS. My fatigue lessened, so did my pain. Minor improvements in my motor functions emerged, giving me hope that remyelination was occurring within my brain. Then 
eventually, I regained my energy and all my symptoms. Pain, fatigue, everything gradually <laughs> disappeared. I was encouraged by the positive changes and kept going more and more to this day. Now, I take a step back and think about all that and see how far I came. I have worked my way up from 20 pounds to over 100 pounds per arm. Those once subtle changes morphed into massive changes, and I eagerly await concrete proof eventually that I remodelation is happening. While I may still might not have that proof yet, my conviction and experiences are enough to fuel my belief. It is just a matter of time. My life has taken on a new sense of purpose and fulfillment. As I've said, while the MRI proof I seek may not have materialized yet, I continue with my unwavering belief in the power of weightlifting and the remodelation it has done to me. I hope I inspire you to make the jump and start lifting weights. If you haven't made that jump yet, what is holding you back? Don't say your symptoms. I had mine. Struggling through them, and struggling and lifting weights through them, it wasn't fun, but I eventually overcame them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.